Every year, thousands of people enjoy the spectacle that is created by the Rotorua Creative Art Trust. They're here today representing the Rotorua District. Councillor Karen Hunt representing Kevin Winters, the Mayor of Rotorua, who is unable to be here today but sends his very best wishes to everyone here. Our story is about the power of volunteers. It's about how a small idea has grown into a great event. With young people at its centre, it has grown to show that they can be mentored and led and supported through their creativity. This is an event that the whole community has got behind and that has achieved iconic status in our region. And it, it is with great pleasure that I introduce the trustees here today, Barbara Cook and Nick Dallimore. From two people rallying support within the community, an idea was launched, changing our community forever. Receiving this recognition has provided the stimulus to look back over the history and appreciate the journey we have taken and the thousands of people that have shared it with us. It's just probably the most prestigious event in Rotorua. Like many community groups, it has grown and matured over the years, becoming something bigger than any of us suspected. Should we be asked to, pre to present the current 2010 show from scratch, it would be impossible. Only over the 10 years has a small idea of two grown into a multifaceted community event with hundreds of It was an event that could, would allow all sorts of people to participate, people from all age groups, and one that had the potential to grow and entertain. And when you see people like that getting together, you say to yourself, we want to get behind that and make sure that um, it's successful. It is truly a humbling experience to share this with so many in our community. The Creative Art Trust, a registered charitable trust, all volunteers, is now celebrating 10 years and how the event has grown. From a very small beginning, we have suddenly arrived at our first decade. Even more fantastic, all our volunteers are still with us today, bringing along new volunteers to the wearable family as well. And your vehicle has been that, and it's been great, because it, it does exactly what we're trying to do and that's get a whole lot of young people involved and what better way through being creative. From catering for around 200 people for that first show, we had over 5,000 attend the 2010 season. We actually have more entrants backstage than our entire first audience. The scale of it is awesome. They're just blown away by what Rotorua can offer. The Trust meets nearly every week of the year with extended committee members joining us depending on the focus. Although the event has become one of the most technically produced community shows in New Zealand, we have never forgotten the reason for being. It's not a school production or just a fashion show. This is the real McCoy. This is about youth, about including our entrants within the production, taking them on a journey of discovery that more often than not lights up desire within their souls that they did not know existed. The, the wearables has given youth avenues um, to use their creativity besides in the actual wearables itself, but to move into other areas of creative arts, fashion and interior design. So I think it's a fabulous avenue for these students um, in developing for their future careers. They are all treated as talented individuals within the show production, each entrant putting in an amazing amount of time and effort to personalise the event. Yeah, one of the unique things about this show is a majority of the designers are also the models and they get to perform and strut their outfits and it is so unique that no other event we know of or work on has that um, amount of collaboration. Every year we have entrants that have challenges in their lives. For all our entrants, the process is full on. However, for many, it is actually life-changing. Uh, if I hadn't have done this, I don't think I'd be pursuing um, some of the fashion I am at university. 
um, and I think it probably would have made a lot harder to get into university as I put all of my pieces into my portfolio and they said that helped a lot. Every year a youth scholarship is up for grabs, some serious cash, awarded to an entrant who shows promise for further educational opportunities within the arts. We're actually looking for a youth that we consider is, could do really well in the arts and move ahead with the help of the scholarship. Even our volunteers evolve. Blue Light provide the opportunity for youth from their program to be involved in the event and get to see firsthand the effect it has over the years. They are now becoming effective members in the community where they can come and volunteer their time to help an event happen. Life coaching, mentoring and awakening are all commonly used within the many letters of thanks that the Trust receives each year. Most often it is not until after the fact that you are made aware of what has been achieved, usually with tears. To watch her come in and she couldn't, when she was talking to us at pre-judging, she would look at the floor, she wouldn't accept anything that we were saying and at the end she ended up winning what we consider the best stage performance. This fantastic event continues to involve the wider community. With the introduction of Creative Hats we have created a very unusual environment where old meets young. It's absolutely fantastic as a community event because I think it, it reaches all sections of the community. Our Gears have been valuable members of the community in the past and often with disabilities um, they are unable to contribute anymore so this gives them an, a venue to be able to contribute to the community. The end product is just pretty exciting actually. It was amazing and so I wanted to tell my mum and dad and not only do the kids love the show, they are taking away many messages. Helping to teach others about, about one of the main topics of wearable art, which is reduce, reuse and recycling. And I've made more friends and I've been able to show another whole creative side of myself and meet so many more people. With all the volunteers every year, it's, a, it's about introducing new things and finding different ways of doing things. Pretty much reinvents itself every year. So while you've got the categories, you've also got a lot of creativity going on within the people that are on the trust. And for instance, they've bought a new categories, they've been very aware of what's happening in the environment, what's trending, and also I think that um, bringing in the art exhibition was a real coup. The art exhibition gave a whole new side to the event, again with huge community involvement, broadening the experience. The, the art exhibition had real appeal because it was a, a, a first up, no one's doing it. You know, I have a real passion for the creative side of you know, the art, so you know, that was really appealing. Um, and you know, it's been fantastic, I think it's great for the community. And why do we keep doing this, you wonder? Awesome. It's just fantastic. Passionate. Amazing. An iconic event. We're proud to be part of it. Absolutely gobsmacked. It's absolutely fantastic. What makes us come back and back and back again and want to be a part of it? It's an amazing event. But it all, when it all comes together at showtime, to see those entrants and the entertainment all come together and strut their stuff and nail it, just gets our adrenaline pumping and that's what we thrive on. It's what we love doing and it's why we come back year after year. Thank you for sharing our journey.